Hello, everybody, and welcome to Every Rock Has a Story. This is the eighth story I've posted, and I'm really excited today because I've started hearing from some of the kids out there like you who've been watching the videos. In fact, one of my friends, her name is Nora, she's in first grade, has been keeping a science journal. I hope some of you are keeping a science journal too. And she said that I can show you some of the science journal pages she's been writing about the videos. So let me show you. I'll come a little bit closer and show you some of her pages that she sent to me. So she has drawn for every day a picture. So there's the meteorite from day one, and she drew a bunch of shooting stars out there to remind her of that story. There's that Ubrontes sandstone, and see all those dinosaur footprints? That was that day two story. I like that story a lot. Oh, I love this picture. There's a whole bunch of really sad miners who collected pyrite fool's gold, and then they dumped it, and that made that all that reddish orangish acid iron and acid drainage so bad oh what a sad story there's the granite and look all those pink minerals in the granite we saw that's all that feldspar that made the ocean salty oh day five the lava rock the basalt there's that chunk of basalt that i collected myself and there's that red hot river of lava and here's the one that nora drew for day six our chunk rock right in the middle and see all the little tiny fossils raining down on the ocean and all the CO2 gas that they're taking up in. And it asks down there, it says, gas inside. It is true. Yes, there's really gas inside that rock. So Nora, thank you for sharing those stories with us. Thank you for sharing your imagination of those stories. Remember, every story that a rock has is driven by us and by our ideas, and especially our questions. Thank you, Nora. If you would like to share your stories with me, you can find me on the internet and send me an email if you'd like to show me your stories or your pictures. Now, today's rock is this one right here, right in front of me. And it is one of the most important rocks on the entire planet. Let me bring it a little closer so you can get a good picture of this one. So this rock is interesting because it kind of has two parts. It has this gray part out here. We've actually seen that rock before. That's basalt. Okay, it's volcanic. And it's got a little bunch of holes in it. See all those little holes it's got? But inside the basalt is this green stuff. Look at that green and sparkly and some black spots in there too mostly green and black but that green color it's pretty look at that and that green rock is the one i want to tell you about today now what if i told you that this green rock is a rock from the mantle of the earth impressed wait let me tell you what the mantle is first, and then we'll see what you think. The mantle is the layer in the earth below the crust on the outside. The very outside of the earth is called the crust. And here's a picture that shows the different layers of the earth. So there's the ocean and the continents on the surface, and this is a cut into the earth. And the crust is that thin black part. The red part that is the mantle. That is the mantle of the earth. And actually, it's the largest part of the earth when you think about it. Now, I've got a beef with um, this drawing and with a lot of the drawings that I see about the mantle. Because here, what color have they made the mantle? They've colored the mantle red. But this is a real chunk of the mantle. And what color is it? It's green. So I want to start a movement right here with you today. Let's stop coloring the mantle red. Let's start coloring it green because the mantle really is green. And we know because of rocks like this one. This rock is called peridotite. Let me move that a little closer. That green rock from the mantle is called peridotite. Peridotite. That's what the mantle is made of, and the mantle is green, just like peridotite is green. Now, you might be wondering, Ethan, if you're saying that you have to go down, digging down to get to the mantle, how did you get this? How did you get this rock? Well, it's a good question. Nobody has ever dug that deep. Nobody ever has dug 
down into the mantle are drilled. People have tried, but no one's ever made it. This rock, the story, starts about a million years ago, maybe earlier. And there was deep in the mantle, underneath Arizona, the mantle started to melt just a little bit. It got really hot, just a little bit of melting. And that magma, that molten magma started to accumulate and it was filled with all those gases, like those bubbles there. And one day, it erupted really fast. And it erupted so fast and so furiously that when it blew out of the mantle, it ripped off chunks of the mantle. Like that green chunk of peridotite and it blasted those chunks of peridotite up on the surface and a big volcanic fountain then spilled off into a big plateau. And if you go to that plateau in Arizona, it's filled with all these chunks of these rocks from the mantle. Peridotite. Now, the story gets more interesting and kind of fun because if you're lucky, you can find crystals of that green mineral that are big enough to do things with. That green mineral, which makes peridotite green, peridotite is a rock, that green mineral is called olivine. Let me write that down too. The green mineral is called olivine. So that's the green mineral that makes peridotite green. And if you're lucky, you can find single crystals of olivine, which are really beautiful. I'll take these out and show you in a second. In fact, when I was at this place, there was so much olivine and peridotite, the roads were all green. The roads were green because of this. So let me, let me pour these crystals out here and I'll bring them a little bit closer. And I'll tell you, so there's the, there's the crystals there. Let's pick up one of them. There, that's what a beautiful olivine crystal, a gem quality olivine crystal. And this, it turns out, is a special gem. This is a real gem from the mantle. It's a gem called, not peridotite, but just peridot or peridot without the I-T-E. That is a peridot. And peridot is the name of the birthstone for the month of August. So if you were born in August, well, happy early birthday. And there is a nice peridot to show you for your August birthstone. You know, it's fun thinking about all the ways that rocks and minerals keep us happy and make us interested. Think about our birthstones, beautiful gems like gem quality peridot from the mantle. But it's also interesting to realize that the stories that rocks tell can go as deep as the mantle, the very center of the earth in some cases, and then up, up, up through the crust and all the way to the sky. Like the story of our climate rock. You see, rocks and minerals tell the stories of the entire earth and environment. You just have to find the right rock to learn about the story you want to hear. I hope you've enjoyed this story about Peridotite today. I hope you know that every rock has a story, and I hope that you join me in always coloring the mantle green. See you for my next video.